Hello all, welcome to the subject of VLSI design and technology. This is Professor Minakshi Pancha from Electronics and Telecommunication Department, Parvati Bhai Ganba, Moji College of Engineering, Wabuli, Pune. In today's lecture, we are going to write some program using behavioral modeling. How to construct the program using behavioral modeling? We have seen in the introduction part only. Now we are going to write a behavioral modeling using behavioral modeling method. We are going to write the code for D flip flop. D means delay flip flop. For the delay flip flop model, we are going to write the VHDL code. The behavioral modeling sequential execution statement are used. The statement used in this modeling style allow inside process function and procedures. These statements used as a if, wait, case, and loop. These uh, such kind of statement will be used uh, into the <coughs> programming. In this case of variable are also restricted to be used inside the process function and procedure use the contrary to a signals a variable is not a global therefore the value of a variable is not passed out directly directly so the process we have no we have to write the architectural part by writing the command process the process is a sequential execution part of the VHDL code. This part contains if wait case loop such type of command it can contain. The process should be installed in the main program code and should be executed every time the event occur on the signal present in sensitivity list. So, the variable must be declared in a declarative part of the process before begin the word begin here all those variable what we are using for example if wait case what the variables we are going to using in an architecture we have to predefine before writing a begin command the use of this label process is a optional and in case to construct a synchronous circuit and clock is necessary and to detect the signal change event attribute is used so let's see the example of d flip-flop a d flip-flop as is shown in a figure in a slide it is a building block of sequential circuit and in this the output must copy the input at either a positive or negative transition of the clock signal here the output the output should be copy the input whatever the input uh, whatever the data flow inside the input terminal that data will be flow at the output terminal either the positive or negative transition of the clock signal after every each clock signals the output will be available the clock may be a positive clock or it may be a negative clock in the code below the use of if statement to design a D flip flop with the asynchronous reset, we are using here reset pin also. If reset is one, if reset is one, then the output Q will be zero, regardless the status of clock. If you are going, if you are continuously applying a clock and the input is also at the input terminal D, and with simultaneously, if you applied a high signal at the reset pin then the output will be zero it will not take any it will it will simply provide zero output regardless what is the status of input t and clock when when you get the output is equal to d when the data available at the q terminal or what is the data present at the input terminal d when we can get at the out terminal after a positive clock when the reset pin should be low this is a not an active low reset when high is at terminal reset the output will not 
provide anything when no signal is at the reset or nothing at the reset pin then output will be follow the input at particular clocks so let's begin writing the code i have already mentioned the libraries and i have to change the name this is a name that have previously have used i have to change this now the name of the entity we have given entity dsf is short form of the flip flop and e is a predefined word after we have to use compulsory then we are going to assigning a port by using predefined word port and we have to write the we have to assign the input terminal in the port see here there is a three input terminal total one is a d and another one is clk is nothing but clock and rst is a reset this is the short form of rst i have written here and these are our input type type data type is std logic so now let's assign output terminal there is a two output terminal is there but we can one output or uh, each other are complemented terminal so we can consider only single here that is out std underscore logic we have to end with the name of entity and the indentation is also important i am writing here so i am not considering any indentation but while writing the program indentation should be proper otherwise the program won't run let's see writing the architecture behavioral architecture behavior of dff is the name of architecture i am instead writing the name of the behavior i will take dff underscore behavior behavior short form of d flip flop the dff is the name of the entity is then we have to begin here the predefined word begin process is very important here in the process we have to behavioral in the behavioral process command is important after begin we have to mention process and what are the at the clock signals or what are the control signals are there we have to write in the process so control signals are clock according to clock and reset pin we are getting the output and simply we can say that output is controlled by the clock and rst signals so now again begin with a begin statement after process then we have to write the condition we can write i am using i am writing a code by using if condition so if is a predefined word we should write if our reset is equal to our reset equal to high if our reset is high then what should happen we have to say if reset is high then what should happen our q will follow follow or not no when reset is high there is no output at the output terminal if this condition is false if this condition is false we have to write else here else clk clock event clock event and 
CLK, that should be one. The output available only when clock is high. Here one condition is there. Then also we will get the output D. First we have to end the if condition. Then again end process. End process and then we have to end the behavior and the name of the architecture here what is the name of architecture we have given dff underscore b h v here i will explain once again whenever the reset pin is high there is no matter what is what are the signals present at the other terminal we will get output low either there may be input is there either there, there may be a clock signal is there if the high signal on reset there is no input is available so q is should be zero so here that we have mentioned we are processing on these two signals and when if if is a one condition here we are providing one condition if the rst pin is high then we have to write there is no output signal should be there. Q output as terminal should be assigned to zero. If this condition is not satisfied, if RST is not high, then what should happen? If this condition is not satisfied, then then else what happen? We have to write else. That condition we have to begin with the predefined word else. After else, there may be another condition, the clock event and the CLK, sorry, clock CLK should be high. There should be a clock event. There should be a clock will be flow. And what clock is there? High, this is positive clock. So clock should be high. Then only the Q will be assigned as D. That is nothing but output will be available at the output terminal. And the output follow the copy of the input data. So after writing such condition we have begin with the if so we have to end with the if and after we have begin with the here process and we have to end the process and after that architecture we have to end with the end architecture okay this is the simple program now see another example by using this behavioral modeling only. Before going to start, we have to see the signals is declared in the package entity or in the architecture. But we have to use variables also. So variables only declared in declarative part of the process statement. The value of variable never pass out the process directly. Further, the update of variable is immediate, which is not a case with a signal. The assignment operator for signal is that is greater than equal to or less than equal to that is and for the variable is only equal to. Remember here we are also using variables also. Variables should be declared in a declarative part of the process. Other than, that, other than that, we cannot use at any other part of the program. Here, the signals will be assigned with, by using uh, less than or equal to sign, but variable simply assigned by using equal to sign. So, let's see one example. Here we have considered one single example that is one digit counter. The one digit counter counting the decimal numbers. Whenever the clock, how many clock will be applied? According to the clock, the counter will be updated. And top level diagram of the circuit shows in the figure. And which is contain only single bit input as a clock and four bit output. Here the four bit output is there. 
and a variable temporary temp the name of pmp was employed to create our flip flops or flow flip flops because there are a four digit is there so we have to use four flip flops so the uh, using to store the result of conditions of those flip flops we are using the variable named as a temp so necessary to store the four bit output signals there so let's begin with the coding part i have already mentioned the uh, library and entity the name is given we have to use the entity name as counter we have, i have to change this one see i have changed the name of the entity to the counter to a counter our entity name is counter now and we are going to assign a port here and there are a two input terminal i am considering first input terminal as a clock the reset was not considered in this program we have thought that the reset is already high and uh, and let's assign and let's assign the output is there are output is digit here there is the output is disease this digit and we have to mention out here and this is the integer range the out is in the form of integer integer range that is 0 to 9 this is the type c here i have explained all those things in a data type lectures so so now we have to end the entity with the name of counter now begin architecture architecture the name c o u of counter is begin and process what are we are using process there are one signal i am we are using that is a clock the reset we have still not considered in this program and we discuss we are with we have told that we are using here variables variable that is temp the variables we should assign by the predefined word variable and the name of variable is a temp and which is in the form of integer range also in the integer range integer range that is from 0 to 9. your three digit is means the output is three digit 1 2 3 so what combination output we can get from 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. So total 10 combination we will get here. Sorry, this much of combination we will get here. This is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So like this we are up to 111 we are going to but we want to count from 0 to 10 only not more than that okay this is our condition here our range is from 0 to 9 and the integer range is also 0 to 9 
see how many already there is a 10 <clears throat> now we have assigned the variable now we begin with again begin statement begin if if our clock event is there if our clock event is there and clock is also at high then then what will happen what should happen the variable temp should be assigned the assignment of variable only by using equal to assign the temp should be incremented by one if the temp is equal to 10 because here we are going to count only digit from 0 to 9 and this is a range we have given if the reason if the range if this range if the our temp range we have mentioned here range 0 to 9 if temp range is equal to 10 then then what should happen then temp zero it will reset and start from zero and end if if condition is finished here then we have to then this is a if condition and after completing this condition we have to assign the output digit that's is equal to temp what is the result stored in a temp that we want to print here and end end process and end architecture the name of architecture is cou Here. Inside the counter, this is 0 to 9 range counter. Here inside the counter, there are a shift register inside to the counter. There are a total shift register is there. Inside the counter, there are a shift register or delay flip-flops will be used. Sorry, delay flip-flop will be used inside this inside the counter. What will happen if one clock is occur here? If one clock is occur here, what will happen? This delay flip clock hold the values here. After another clock, these delays will be updated. This 0, 1, 1, 0. And like this, this combination of result will be hold inside to the delay flip clock. Such kind of delay flip clock used here. And so that we are using the variable temp to hold the to hold the hold to store that value. The variable temp will be used to hold the, that value. And the same that value will be available at the output. So that's why we are taken as the digit is equal to temp. What are the values stored in the temp that will providing output? But at every clock period, the flip-flop, delay flip-flop should be changed, increment by single values or by complementing 1 to 0, 0 to 1, the, the combination is like, arrangement is like that, the all the, this, much, this kind of combination will be provided regularly. So we are going to print the value, integer value from 0 to 10 only. We are 0 to 9 here. We are going to print 0 to 9, but at reaching the 9, we should give the condition here. See, the variable we have given for storing that delays values, uh, delay flip-flop values, 
and here we have given condition if clock event is there and clock signals are also right there then what should happen whatever the value is holding at that flip flops delay flip flop that should be increment by 1 if 0 0 0 is there that should be increment by 1 and 0 1 0 0 0 1 and 0 1 0 such kind of operation will be undergoes inside the this counter and we have to print only up to 9 so if the temp value reach to 10 decimal then what will happen it should what will happen then temp should be after re reload the variable temp should be reload with the value 0 so this is our condition so what is the value changing into the temp register at same value we are going to print at our output terminal so our output terminal is a digit so this is the simple task and the incrementing after every incrementing the out that same output will be here we can see the incremented value so this is the operation of counter so we have to end the process and we have to end the architecture this is this is the simple program of single bit counter Here yeah, we have seen already the flip flop, but another one term is there that is wait. So wait is a sometime which is similar to the if. However, more than one form of wait is also available. So moreover, the when we are using the case R if is loop are used. The process cannot have a sensitivity list when weight is employed. So it is syntax. This is also one of the syntax, and there are three form of weight is there. One is wait until the signal condition is there, wait for some time, and wait for a signal. These are the conditions. So we will see the one example uh, the delay flip flop by using this weight syntax. The code the syntax weight is using here instead of this. So library we have mentioned an entity is also there. And code we have also declared D C clock and RST and that is a reset. These are all input and we have simultaneously assigned here output Q. And that is also out std underscore logic. And we have to end with the entity and DFF, DFF. Then begin architecture. More DFF, the name we have mentioned like that architecture or DFF. Is we have to begin with a begin statement, then we have to process, process, then again begin or instead of else we are going to here wait wait on rst clock so here instead begin we are going to waiting here for the reset and clock now we can start with if rst that's equal to one. Then we have to then only Q that's equal to zero. Else
log event. Log event and log equal to high. Then the Q is equal to B. We have to end with the end if end process and end df. Here we have using weight here. Weight on, we on, RST and clock.